This is Willie Crawford, and we're back finishing up our lesson in how to create a viral ebook. That is, how to create an ebook that you can pass along to other people, allowing them to change certain parts of it. And because they have the incentive to, to change it and somehow profit from it or benefit from it, they pass your ebook along. And in the process, they generate for you a steady stream of new customers, of new website visitors, of new subscribers, etc. So, we stopped off in the last one with we we had just created the viral doc the VDT file which is the rebrandable file and I told you we'd package this file along with the brander and pass that along to our end user. So I'm pretending now I'm the end user who's downloaded this zip file, unzipped it, and in it is the brander and this VDT file and maybe a readme file which told them to open the brander. So they double click on the brander, and this is what they'll see. This folder here tells them uh, is to, to open to find the file basically. So I click on that, and it looks on the computer for VDT files basically. But I'm going to go to the folder where I've been working. Just my viral document. I work on a lot of projects, as you can see. Too many. Viral document toolkit. And it's a four-part demo I'm working on. There's the file. That's what they would they would browse to the folder where the VDT file was. They just downloaded, double-click on it, and it opens. And as it opens, the software, the brander. This is the brander. The brander automatically open this table and recognize what parts of this file are rebrandable. So that README file, all it tells the end user to do is to click on the first line or any line in there, and it then pops up a table that shows what's rebrandable. So in this case, it says the inner circle affiliate link is rebrandable. It says this is what's there now, and they can change that if they want to. For example, let's change it to, I don't know, the Internet Marketing Inner Circle. Let's make it C-I-R-C-K-E. Just, I'm just, just to show you that the how the link changes. That that's the only reason I changed that. Basically, an affiliate would change it. Well, well let's do this. Well, no. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. But basically, an affiliate would copy and paste his affiliate link there. At this point, uh, you can click OK, and it will it will save that change. But it'll also exit this form. It's easier to click Next, and it'll go to the next rebrandable field. And you can even actually look here and see it. It did change that visible anchor text right here to CKE, uh, which is what we just did. Next link was for it was the VDT affiliate link. Again, it's um, Visible anchor text. So we're going to change toolkit to cool kit. Click next. You can see right here it changed toolkit to cool kit. Tells you next that you have an embedded internet marketing inner circle affiliate link. Embedded means that you've got the text, and behind the text you have a link. We're not going to change the text in this case. It would let you do that if you wanted to. Instead, we're going to change what's behind the text. And here it says timid.org. We're going to change it to timid, T-I-M-I-D.org. But again, an affiliate would change it and put his affiliate link in there. I'm just doing this to show you how it works, though. So the affiliate would put his affiliate link in there. Click Next, and it would go to Viral Document Toolkits. Um, I'm going to, in this case, I'll make it Cool Kit again. And it went to Rapid Action Profits. An affiliate would take his affiliate link for Rapid Action Profits, paste it in here, and click Next. This is Pathway 100. This is the uh, 20 ways to make $100 a day affiliate link. An affiliate would paste his affiliate link in here, click Next. This is another affiliate link for the Internet Marketing Inner Circle. An affiliate would put his link in there. Let's uh, just to show you how it changes. I'm going to change it to the Internet Marketing Outer Circle. Next, and actually, well, it won't let me scroll, but it, it changed down here. I can show you later. Um, and it, this is the link behind my image. It tells you the link. Willie's picked the link to WillieCrawford.com. We're going to change crawl forward to crawfish. Click next, and that was the last link that was rebrandable in this document. If I had a block of text, that would have been there somewhere too, and I would have just typed into the field that was in the form, the new text I want, and it would have changed it. It recognized all the things in this document that were changeable have been changed, and so it exited that field. 
So and at that point, all you have left to do, all the person that you passed this document along to had to do is click on this button here, which is to create a PDF. Click on that, and it tells you that eight items were branded. It tells you to click that button again to save the document as a PDF file. And the person you passed it to doesn't have the options of, of selecting the format of that PDF file. You, when you created that VDT file, set the uh, whether or not it was, it was encrypted and things along that line, and whether or not the page numbers were there. All that was set by the person creating the rebrandable file. So this person will click OK, and then your affiliate would click this button again, and it would ask him where he wants to save this PDF and what he wants to name it, basically. So we're going to browse to the same folder, which is uh, VDP four-part demo, which I called it, and we're going to call this uh, 20 Insider Techniques uh, Final, because it's a final copy. You could call it whatever you want. You know, you're going to upload this, or your affiliates are going to upload this and pass it along to, to their customers, to whoever. So they can name anything they want. But uh, for, for this demo, I'm going to call it 20 Ways Branded Ebook. Actually, it's not 20 Ways. 20 Ways is another one. 20 Techniques. So I call it 20 Techniques Branded Ebook. When I click Save, it's, it says, OK, I'm saving this in the C in this folder and this subfolder with this name. And it says, do you want me to open this generated PDF file in the, the default viewer, which was set by the person who created the file when it's finished? Click OK. It saved it as a PDF, and, and it opened it. And I can hover over this link here. And we, remember, we changed that the Internet Marketing Inner Circle to timid.org. It changed that. Before it was timid.org. Now it's timid. Uh, the one behind here, see I misspelled circle deliberately. So you can see those two links changed. Here's another one, viral document cool kit I changed from toolkit. You can see that you know the links changed. So your, your affiliates would have gone through, changed these links to their affiliate links. Uh, we'll scroll down and look at a couple more. You don't have to look at them all. They, they, they rebranded. If for some reason they didn't rebrand, you'd go back through and do it over again because you did something wrong or maybe a link didn't come across for some reason, so you just fix it. There's a link behind my, uh, let's see. I don't want that one. There was a link behind the picture up front, but I, I won't bother with that one either now. Right now. The um, pathway100.org, and the, you can see here we changed this to the outer circle. And, and this one we didn't bother changing. That was for the um, 20 Ways ebook. I was trying to think what other links we changed. Anyway, that's the way the software works. And um, as you can see, it's uh, pretty slick. And this is how you'd create a viral, rebrandable ebook. You would then pass along to your affiliates, and they would uh, go through the ebook, change the links that were changeable. And after they did that, they would some of them would sell the ebook if it's got enough valuable information. Like this ebook's 20 insider techniques of a super affiliate. I tell here how I, I've earned up to $30,000 in a day commissions selling products. And so, uh, it's pretty valuable information. It's how I how I do it, and uh, so that's what makes the ebook go viral. Is people are happy to pass along valuable information in it, and you incentivize them by letting them change some of the links in the book, letting them change some of the blocks of text, etc. That's how you create a viral rebrandable ebook. Um, if you have any questions, you can actually contact me on my um, well, at my help desk, WillieCrawford.com forward slash help desk and I'll be happy to answer any questions but I also encourage you to go check out the software itself let's say we don't need this anymore somewhere I have um, da -da. there we go you can check out the software itself at viral document toolkit.com that's viral document toolkit.com and what I've just shown you is how to create a rebrandable viral document and then explain a little about using them to generate more website traffic, more sales, more subscribers, more track more people to your website basically. Uh, basically you created a document that can be passed along and in the process it goes viral. People benefit from it and they keep passing it along. Thank you very much.